Welcome, everybody, to the Larry Bling Show, coast to coast on this radio network. And we'll be going to the phones in just a moment on T-A-L-K Talk Radio, where your opinion and uh, your talking with the guest will be welcomed a little bit later on. And my guest is a very distinguished gentleman. Welcome to this uh, program, Dr. Eugene Guarda Somalia, a uh, man who has been billed as the smartest man on earth. Uh, uh, Dr. Eugene, before your IQ was taken by the Institute of Intelligence, what was the highest recorded IQ on earth at the present the, day? The highest recorded IQ before mine was taken was 222. When you get that high, the reading really doesn't mean too much. You see. And uh, doctor, your IQ was an astounding 378. That is correct. That is uh, quite an <laughs> IQ. Uh, for those of you not aware of Dr. Eugene Guardasamale's accomplishments, let me tell you he speaks 38 languages fluently, including ancient Gaelic and primitive Tibet. He is the inventor of 350 items, including many medical and scientific inventions. I think my, my prime invention was the tops on those little plastic things that you oh. peel off in the diner. Oh. Oh. He has uh, traveled to uh, every nation of the oh. Oh. world and been awarded intelligence awards. He's developed a fuelless space rocket, which I'm sure uh, we'll have time to get into that. He can beat anyone in chess in two moves. And his brain is actually faster uh, than a pocket calculator. Now Correct. this was, uh, people have challenged uh, you against a pocket calculator and you are better at mathematician uh, uh, situations, uh, multiplication and division, so on. In the test of mentality, I have shorted out a Cray computer, Cray supercomputer. And you have invented a, uh, a solution that will remove a wart painlessly in 10 seconds. Correct. He has, uh, uh, of course, uh, memorize the entire, this is one of your greatest uh, accomplishments, you memorize the entire New York City phone book in 22 minutes flat. That is correct. That there includes six, six pages of Martins alone. Six pages of Martins, and he was able to uh, totally establish in his intelligent brain cavity the phone number and exact spelling of every name in that book. And a uh, miracle mix he invented many years ago. It's amazing to say that he has found the cure for aging. Uh, Dr. Eugene Guardasamali is 97 years old today, and uh, you look very good for your age. You, of course, have stopped the aging process, among your many other highly intellectual accomplishments. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go to the phones right now. I believe we have a lot of people out there who are interested in discussing various scientific and medical and uh, terminological uh, things with you. Let's go to the phones, and we are in... Uh, Nutley, New Jersey. Hello, you're on the air. Oh, yes, sir. Is this, is this you, Larry? Oh, I can't believe I'm on the air. This is so... Dr. Eugene Guarda Somalia. Let's go. We are on the phones now in New York. Hello, New York. You're on the phone. He hello? He hello? Uh, who's calling? Hello? Who's calling, please? Hello, you're calling us. Uh, hello? Hello, you're on the Larry Bling Show. Hello? Uh, who's this calling? No, I'm sorry, uh, ma'am. You called us. You called the uh, talk... Talk radio network here uh, and uh, hello. 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 Who is this, please? Uh, this hello? is Larry Bling here on the radio. And what would you like to talk about today? Uh, uh, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, I must find my cats. Excuse me. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, who who is this calling? Uh, who? You are on the air. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, our guest, if you just tuned in, Dr. Eugene Guarda Somali, waiting for your call. Let's go. The lines are lit up. Detroit, you're on the air. Hello. Hey, Larry. I'm calling about the show, man. <laughs> right. I guess you'd like to, uh, what would you like to say? Well, you know, like about two weeks ago, you had this health food nature. <laughs> What's the oh, story, did... man? Huh, well, Larry? this was the subject matter of a broadcast of two weeks ago. You I'm just to getting the... it now. You know what I mean? Man. Yes, well, you're talking about the, the lucky lady, uh, the queen of health food. Uh-huh. That's the dude. Yeah. What's the story, man? Well, she did suggest a warm apricot solution. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well... Do uh, I smoke it or do I drink it? Well, sir, do you have anything else? Uh, would you like to say anything else? No. Thank you for your call. Okay. All right, and as you know, uh, of course, uh, Dr. Eugene Guarda Somalia, uh, I understand you have just uh, authored... 
482 books, including books in 12 different languages. That is correct. Including the history of conjugated verbs. I did the transliterations of all those uh, tomes myself, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the phones. Hello, you're on the air. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, hello. Hello, you're on the air. Uh, 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 hello. Sarah, you're on the air. What would you like to talk about? And I don't think my phone works. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 hello? <laughs> Sir, you are on the air. Uh, uh, hello, Larry? Yes. Uh, is this Larry? Yes, this is Larry. Man, I want to tell you, man, I dig your show, man. You better than BLS and all them other people that play that. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean, man? I mean you. I listen to you all the time, Larry. You well, thank you uh, for the compliment. Uh, hello? What would you like? Hello? <laughs> yeah, Larry, uh... Uh, wait, I, I, I got the question here. Wait a minute. I got written down, man. No, don't hang up on me now. Don't hang up on me. No, I got question. No, don't, don't, don't. I'm sorry. Uh, let's move along to the next call, please. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello. Uh, this is Elmer J. Fudd, millionaire. I own a mansion and a yacht. Uh, Elmer Mr. Fudd? Yes, is this Larry? Yes. I am very, very upset about not being asked to appear when watch a wabbit. In what, sir? I am very upset not to be, uh, have been asked to be a member of the cast of Roger Rabbit. You were not in Roger Rabbit? No, well, I'm why a are you upset about that? Well, I am a member of the Screen Actors Guild, and, <laughs> and uh, I've been in movies since the 1930s, and I think it's a great shame that I was not asked to be in it. Uh... Well, how, are, how are things going with you? Well, things are a little slow. This is not Rabbit season. However, uh, wait a friend about what is that? Oh, uh, no, no, you, you can't speak with... Wait a minute, Elmer. I wasn't in it. I wasn't in it either. Oh, I, oh, I, we can't speak. Hey, Elmer, Mr. Fudd. Oh, who was that in the background? Uh, that's my friend Porky. Oh, Porky Pig is there uh, as well. Yes, yes. We worked, we worked for Mr. Warner for many years. <laughs> and it's, it's very sad that we are not remembered. Well, gentlemen, we have to move along. Uh, any, any, any messages for Tweety Pie? Well, tell him he's uh, late for supper, and if he sees uh, that big putty tad to... Uh, to uh, not worry about it. He'll be all right. All right. Okay. Bye-bye, gentlemen. Uh, uh, of course, uh, among other, uh, some of the uh, greater inventions invented by Dr. Eugene uh, Guardasamali, uh, Doctor, what would be some of your favorite uh, anecdotes about your intelligence? Well, I once turned around and saw about 20 people watching me walk down the street. And they were following me just because of the aura my great mind exudes. <laughs> How do you have the patience to deal with people of lesser intelligence, of a common, what would be a common man? Well, sometimes what I have to do is to take my intelligence and drop it a little, actually mentally bring myself down to their level so we can communicate. Let's go to the low. Uh, phones are all lit up. Everybody's excited. Hello, you're on the air. Yes, I'm calling for my car phone. Yes, oh. I'm just sitting here in traffic. I thought I'd give you a call. Well, hey, some idiot just cut me off. Hey, well, hey, you idiot. You can't cut me off like that. What about hey, idiot? Hey, wait a minute, pal. Who do you think you're calling an idiot? Hey, I'm on the phone here. Hey, I don't care what you're doing. You're calling me an idiot? Uh, you little worm. You grub. Where did you get your license from, pal? I'm, I'm, huh? I'm Larry Blinger, the phone. I don't care who it is. You're calling me an idiot? Ow! Yeah, that's, wait a minute. Hey, you got little ears. Oh. Look at these little ears on this guy. Well, I'm going to pull him right out of your head. Look at that. Hey, that's fun. Hey, look at that little Hello. nose. I'm going to give you a nose job. Oh. Okay, oh. okay, gentlemen. Yeah, take that. You call me. Uh, of course, uh, we have, uh, let's go to the next call here. We have a call coming in from uh, Boston area. Hello, you're on the air. Yes, this is Dr. Quaz from Branville <laughs> University. I'd Brand like University. to speak to your guest right wow. away. I'm sorry, but we have no more time tonight. Oh. And I want to thank my guest here, Dr. Eugene Guardasamali, for a wonderful interview. And each and every one of you for calling up Larry Bling. Until next time.